With spring approaching us really soon, I thought in today's acrylic painting tutorial, I will show you how to make these sweet, simple, expressive daisies. If you want to watch the extended real-time version of this, make sure to check this class out on Skillshare. You can sign up to get 14 days free. And lastly, before we begin, please do subscribe to this channel if you like art-related content and make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy as well. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so now let's begin our painting with the background. I am using a mixture of burnt sienna, yellow oxide, white and black to create this earthy toned background. I do want this painting to be a little bit more expressive with the background of the leaves here so the goal here is to give it an impression of stems and leaves and make it a little bit more abstracty looking so I switched my paints here to Arteza now and using olive green we will be making some quick stems. I am creating short swift movements here by indicating some leaves and foliage that we will have in the background. Doesn't have to be too precise. For the leaves, I'm using thalo green and some white and I will be dabbing my way through the stems just in random spots here and there. Again, we're not looking for precision or details, just movement. So think of short, simple, swift strokes. Also try adding a variation of different brush strokes and you can do that by using different sides to your brush by twisting it around. Similarly, we also want a variation of color to add more value and depth. We will keep coming back to the background as we paint along, but for now, this is a good start. Alright, so now let's get a head start with painting the daisies, but first we will sketch out the daisies roughly. And trust me, doing so will make this process so much easier and a lot more fun as well. I'm using a thin round brush and some olive green to start with the center round portion of the daisy. Drawing out a daisy is like drawing a basic flower except they have a lot more petals. I have done a similar tutorial on daisies that I posted a while back which a lot of you seem to like as well. I'm going to link that video right here and also below in case you wanted to check that out too. Now that you've laid out your sketch and composition, painting these is the easy step and you'll see what I mean because you can literally paint each petal by one simple brush stroke. So I'm using plain white here and simply going over the shapes we have sketched out with one stroke.
Using some yellow ochre directly off the tube, I'm using that color to fill in the center portion. I like painting the background and the flowers at the same time, back and forth. So I'm going back to the background here and getting in some additional foliage by mixing in some phthalo green, olive green and a tiny smudge of black to create this darker green. I'm focused on keeping my strokes casual and random, I'm experimenting with different brush strokes. So this is where you can add your own touch to the painting. There is no right or wrong really. I'm just simply looking at my composition and the color placement and adding in different shapes and colors based off of that. So since this is a more expressive painting, no two paintings can look alike. Even if it's like a realistic painting, you still are, it's impossible to recreate a copy of an exact painting. I cannot recreate my same painting again. So, you know, just add your own loose marks based on your painting and what you feel like doing. Adding in some black to the bone sienna and white to make some expressive marks. In a few seconds you'll also see me using some olive green and white as well. I'm basically mixing in these colors we have to create more depth and value. Okay, now I'm going in with some yellow ochre and some white to add to the middle part of the flower to give it some more dimension. Just one little stroke. Using that same color, I'm adding light marks to a few of the petals of the daisies. Just add that to the base and slightly pull out the color outward. Doing so will give your daisies some shadow and depth and your flowers won't look so flat. Topping my daisies out with a bit more white to highlight and sort of accentuate some of the areas.
finishing this piece off with final touches to the background again like mentioned before uh, this process will be very unique to you so feel free to add your own expressive marks here and just have fun and now it's finally time to take off that tape so that we can see the final picture of how this painting has turned out. I really hope you all enjoyed this sweet daisy tutorial. To catch the extended real-time version of this, be sure to check this class out on Skillshare. You can also get 14 days free access. Please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload. Do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Happy painting guys!